Captain, you received my message? It's good to see you again. I hope you enjoyed your time after that victory over the Armada. You certainly deserved it for all you've done. However, it's not like all the puzzle pieces have been put together. Far from it. What do you mean? Normally, I would try to pull the wool over your eyes, but I know that won't work on you anymore. No, let me just get straight to the point. El Dorado, last time we spoke, you mentioned that your parents told you to let go of it. I've been thinking about that, though, and it strikes me as a little odd. In the Gold Monkey Valley, they told you to find the key to El Dorado. Why the sudden change of heart now? What are you trying to say? Jenny would never lie. Don't disrespect her. No, no, I mean no disrespect, but it's just that it was in Kane's very own lair, from crystals he was using for mysterious purposes. If you ask me, that's rather strange. How do you know that they really were your parents' spirits? Well, of course we, uh, do we know? I and I did not want to interrupt the captain's reunion, but them crystals, they held dark magic. Binding spirits is not unheard of. Exactly. So, why don't you go to Darkmoor and look for Jenny's piece? I get it, Avery, but I swear it really felt like them. I don't want to betray their wishes, and the captain doesn't either. The dead don't forgive easily. Fine. Believe whatever you want. However, there is something that you must do for me. It's about this little agreement we made a long time ago. When I first told you about the map, you agreed to acquire the rest of it for me, remember? And that we would split the loot? Your parents may have forbidden you to go there from beyond the grave, but I'm sure they said nothing about obtaining the map, yes? Why, you gutless scoundrel? That's... that's more than I. Seems you're getting verbally strong on Cap'n. You can't just break your word to a pirate lord like that. His word? The Captain's parents said to let go of El Dorado. We're pirates, aren't we? We... we don't have to do it, Captain. You know nothing of being a pirate captain if you say that, you silly girl. You can twist your word, but outright breaking it is too far. Ratbeard is right, but I still don't like this. It leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Well, if I could still taste. It's your choice, Captain. Oh, please. Even if I'm getting on in age, I'm still a pirate. If you won't go there, I will. But I still need your help with Marco Poyo's map. Besides, this isn't the only reason for you to go to Darkmoor. After all... You'll finally have a chance to talk to your parents face to face. Why don't you just ask them about El Dorado yourself? How about it then? Will you be true to your word, Captain? Good. Luckily for you, I know an easy way into Darkmoor without the whole Marleybone papers rubbish. You'll need a red windstone, though. Another windstone? We may as well just go to Marleybone and get their papers while we're at it. Wait just a second. I have a red windstone right here for you. Really, I thought you would ask me before deciding what to do. Patience is a virtue, Dragonfly. Where will this windstone lead us, Avery? Oh, don't worry. It's a place you're very familiar with by now. I'm sure you'll have no issues going through Avernus again, yes? Avernus? I don't like the sound of that. Anyways, you'd best be off. Good luck, Captain. Well, what are you waiting for? The gloomy, um, I mean, lovely skies of Darkmoor await you. That cage in the Sacred Mountain seems like a paradise compared to this place. You get used to it. Let's head into the Stormgate, Captain. Looks like we have a welcoming party. Wonderful! 
Perhaps they were expecting the champion of justice. El Toro! No, you get. They're blocking the storm gate. You have entered the territory of the Von Shane family. Prepare to be boarded. Sink goal of them for attacking us like that. No! There is a high probability of a fleet just ahead. That's too much for this ship to handle. We must retreat immediately. Looks like we'll have to get those papers after all. Back to Avery then. Oh my, the Von Shane family? It seems they have expanded their influence then. I certainly didn't expect them to be guarding it. Who are these Von Shanes? They seem to be evil creatures of the night. No offense to Bat Masterson. Well, yes, that's basically what they are. All I know from Vadima is that they have ruled over a large portion of Darkmoor for generations. It seems you will have to go the Marleybone way after all, Captain. I apologize, but I can't really help you any further here. No worries. We can just go talk to M. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to help after we defeated Kane. You heard her. Go talk to this. M. I'll be here waiting for more map pieces, of course. Oh, you're looking for M. I'm afraid he's out at the moment. Dealing with the aftermath of the war. It takes time to recover from these things, you know. Papers for Dartmoor? Right, I can get these for you real fast. Especially for the captain who defeated Kane. Just give me a minute. Here you go. Ah, wait. A red windstone? That isn't gonna work here, unfortunately. You'll need a black windstone. Simply go plunder one from an armada ship. There should still be a few scattered around the Mushu storm gate. Mr. Woofers, it's another, uh, special request for M. Ah, uh, they just keep stacking up. If only this war hadn't happened in the first place, I'd still be sipping tea back home. <laughs> Happy as Larry. Please, let's not discuss what ifs, sir. <clears throat> um, apologies, Miss Grey. Well, off you go, Captain. Stay soon. Wait, Captain, I've wanted to discuss a certain matter for a while. It's sensitive, so let's go outside. surprised this didn't come up sooner it's hard to find the right time now how do I phrase this hmm you know I'm not deaf I've heard about how this war actually started and I have to say it was very disappointing I mean I felt disappointed in you captain you knowingly assisted in starting the war and for what to rescue some pirate that pirate is Carolina my true love but well I don't know all of the details catbeard don't look at me I have no idea about the reasoning for it. I just saw an opportunity to enlist the captain's help. To get answers for defeating Captain Blood, I and I called Don Rafael's spirit using me art, but he was restless, so we had to appease him. But him daughter, Sally. She was imprisoned in Fort Elena, so we helped the cat. Huh. Well, the meow, you know. Forget I said that. Please, let's be serious. I'll admit, as much as I want to blame Catbeard, almost all of us had a part in this. No, no, it is my fault. I forced the captain's hand. How else could Sally have escaped? The only choice was to help me break into Fort Elena. My point still stands. Surely there was another way. They say the Skyway to Tartarus is paved with strength. Or, uh, good intentions. Yeah, that's it. That was almost inspiring. Almost. I'm sorry. That was unfair to ask. Enough of my questions. I know I'm only one person, but if I reported this, then heads would undoubtedly roll. Maybe it's arrogant of me to say this, but as ironic as it sounds, I believe that you are a good pirate. You turned the tide of the war and directly brought an end to it by defeating Kane. I guess what I'm trying to say is, on behalf of Marleybone, I forgive you, Captain. 
I know you didn't mean for any of this to happen. Right. I'm glad I finally got that out. I don't feel very comfortable doing this sort of thing, if you couldn't tell. I've done it before, too. I'm sure the captain remembers Mabel. Anyways, it's been laid to rest, sister. Now let's go get that windstone, shall we? The, the mortal enemy of Cain Queen Cain, you will, will surrender. Well, that's creepy. I'll be glad if we never see another Armada troop ever again. We have the windstone, so let's go. Your papers on order, Captain. You may proceed. Be careful, though. Reports of monster activity in Darkmoor have skyrocketed lately. Monsters, you say? You need not fear, warrior of Barleycorn. Let them come and face the mighty Hercules. Just more to be felled by my legendary prowess. Um, thank you? But it's not Barleycorn, it's... Don't bother. I tried. It didn't work. No sudden ambush. Where are the vampire menaces? Not here. I'm not seeing any of those monsters either. Probably too scared of me. Ha! I understand. I would be too. You? Ha! You have delusions of grandeur, my friend. They likely heard the son of Zeus was coming and ran away in terror. Ridiculous. They flew away in terror, and it was because of me. El- Do you two ever shut up? Toro. This world reminds me of myself. Let's go to that village and see if anyone knows where your mother's grave is, Captain. No one's here, and all the houses are as silent as the dead. Well, the restful kind of dead. Aye, that means the village is ripe for the plundering too. Quick, before anyone sees us. Knock it off. Let's head to the center and see if anyone's walking about this miserable place. I was just yanking your chain, Missy. I am a good rat now. I'm not laughing. Tough crowd tonight. No, we don't mean you any harm. We're the ones being... Oh, Balderdash, we can plainly see that you are all monsters, predators of the night. You won't trouble this village once we're done with you. You there, help us defeat these monsters invading the village. They just hid inside of that house.
us out. My name is Lucian and I'm just a simple villager. We are being figuratively choked by the true monster high above us. I think we should listen to them, Captain. It doesn't feel like they want to fight us. What? They're monsters. Vampires that drain you of your very life essence. Keep talking, and you'll see what a real monster is like. This house is giving me the creeps. Let's talk outside. Thank you very much for clearing up the situation. I will try to explain the circumstances. Yes, we are vampires, but we have lived here alongside humans for a long time. It's been mostly peaceful until... Well, I would say it was when you dogs showed up. But a far bigger threat has been at our throats for a very long time. The Von Shane family. I still remember the day when the true monster, Lord Shane Von Shane, came to Carpathus. It was a time of terror and bloodshed. Of course, to him, it was simply conquering more territory. Our village was nothing more than an afterthought to him. Anyone who tried to rebel against his rule was swiftly crushed by his immense power. It was hopeless, is hopeless, to fight a Von Shane. One day, a mother and her family came to the village seeking refuge, but tragedy befell them once her daughter caught Shane Von Shane's eye. He tore apart her family and kidnapped the daughter, taking her back to Castle Darkmoor. She was never seen again. As for the mother, people say she rose from the rubble of their home on the brink of death, only kept alive by an intense fury. No one knows her fate, but rumor was that she fled to a distant world in shame, knowing it was impossible to take revenge and that she would be targeted. Thus, our village remains under Von Shane rule to this very day, with no end to their tyranny in sight. Of course, Shane Von Shane has not come here himself for a long time. He has other concerns and does not care what happens to us. Instead, he has his brother, Dane Von Shane, rule here in his stead. Dane is powerful in his own right. How infuriating. These Von Shanes have oppressed the innocent long enough. Captain, I think it is time for us to topple this tyrant. You want us to defeat an immortal vampire lord? How do you propose we'll do that? We still have some silver bullets from Boot Hill, right? Let the blessed silver pierce the wicked fiend's heart. Vampires aren't weak to silver bullets, you git. We still need to find out more about this Dane fellow, too, before we do anything. Har! I say we just blow him to smithereens. Aye! And this fancy castle up on the hill, too. Please, don't take any rash actions. That castle is part of our village's history, too, you know. I'm never allowed to have fun. Fine, let's just get some garlic and stuff it down the overgrown pest throat. Or was it a steak? Steak? I fail to see how that would do anything but serve as an appetizer before the fight. It'd be a waste on that monster. Hmm. Think with your brain, not your stomach, you oaf. A wooden steak. Well, garlic just has a disgusting taste. That myth of using it on vampires is rather exaggerated. As for steaks... They went out of fashion, so to speak. Only primitive vampires lack the intelligence to defend against it. You'd just give Lord Dane a splinter. Hmm. I'll believe your tale, vampire. But I smell a trap. Nobody is defeating a whole vampire lord, not even if we all teamed up. Go ahead, give your excuse. I think it's fairly clear that I've seen right through your scheme. Hey, you're not wrong about defeating him, but there might be a way. You see, there is still one witch doctor who lives in the village. I believe she's been researching a way to defeat a Von Shane ever since the kidnapping. I myself have no hope, but it would be rude to turn away those willing to help. You can find her abode by itself at the far end of the village. A witch doctor, huh? 
I'll be tagging along if you don't mind, pirate. Let's see what she has to say. Um, look, we know you're monster hunters, but who even are you? Hmm. <laughs> Me? I am Sir Oliver, vanquisher of dark-hearted abominations and leader of Unit V. We have been cleansing this region, as our duty dictates. We're bounty hunters, actually. Unfortunately, our esteemed leader here decided monster hunting was somehow worth trying. Yes. For the hundredth time, bounty hunting isn't working for us, what with the war ending and all the big names getting taken down by some pirate. Aha! Uh -huh. So you're newbies. We both know that the veterans don't just accidentally identify innocent villagers as monsters. I don't like taking chances. So yes. It doesn't matter. Just stay out of our way. Gladly. None of you are classified as monsters. Surprisingly, not even your people, filthy fox. You... ugh. I'm not going to lower myself to your level. Let's just go, Captain. Sir, huh? I don't know about that. this? Who dares invade Mihaela's domain? A pirate crew and a monster hunter from Marleybone? Hmm. As payment for disturbing me, you may become sacrifices for my rituals. It is for a good cause, I assure you. What have you done with the witch doctor, vile sorceress? You will be the one paying if you have harmed her. Yeah, about that. I'm pretty sure this is the witch doctor, just a little bit more evil than that Lucian fellow implied. Think you can survive my concoction?
threatening from all directions. I'm not going down without using my legendary treasure card. Despair. Impressive. I haven't ever experienced such a fierce battle before. Hmm, I will spare you. Spare us, but we... Witch, you know how to end that monstrous vampire's life. Tell us now. How rude. Why should I tell you anything? Just for that, no. You fools will leave with nothing. As expected, it seems it was a waste of time going along with this circus act. Well, I can at least burn you at the stake. You are deranged and delusional. This is why nobody back home likes you fellows. Now, what are we supposed to do? We be looking for witch doctors, yes? I and I think Vadima may know what we seek. She be from Darkmoor, after all. Wait, Vadima. How do you know her? I thought she was dead after that night. No one could have possibly survived being hunted by him. For you speak. Let us move outside. I... I just can't believe it. Vadima was from here. Seems like we both have tragic stories. She never said a word about it, though. Yes, I remember her well. A brave mother, but she lost her daughter to Shane Von Shane. Tatiana, I think was her name. It is truly heart-wrenching. So she's alive. Hidden away. I'm glad to hear it. At the same time, though, I can't imagine how it must feel. And those Von Shanes. Yes, indeed. Is it not time to purge this village of them, that we may punish their wrongdoing, which hurt Madame Vadima so? I'd also rather we not bother Vadima about this. Poor woman has had enough to deal with. Very well. What you have heard is true. I have been researching ways to defeat 
the Von Shane family throughout the years. But I'm sorry. They have no natural weakness. How else could they dominate Darkmoor for so long? Maybe there's no natural one, but what about one invented through other means? Hmm? Clever. Yes, I believe I have invented a capable suit. One that will severely hinder the Von Shane's regenerative abilities. No guarantees. Right, but you need certain materials which you'd like us to collect for you. Oh, um, yeah. I need some fangs from lesser vampires in order to pull this spell off. You can find them on the ships around here. I had a feeling. Groceries, eh? This better be quick. Would have been if we just blasted this Von Shane to bits. I almost forgot. I'll need garlic, too. You can find some still hanging around one of the bridges. Human villagers put it there to ward away Dane. It didn't work. Oh, I told you we'd need garlic. You just love saying that, huh? Gar. I mean, yar. I'll keep an eye on her while you go do that. Can't believe I'm putting my faith in a witch and some pirate crew I just met. You don't have to stay here, doggy. We got no bones for you to chew on. Sip your own if you keep blathering on. Don't provoke him. We have better things to do. Hmm. Howdy there, pirate. Boy, this place gives me the chills. Darkmoor ain't exactly the friendliest place, as I'm sure you found out. Oh, it's just so frustrating. I was told I could find these creepy little gold fingers lying about in certain places around here, but apparently some monsters are devouring travelers. An old Zeke wants none of that, no sir. Say, could you find them gold fingers for me? Oh, thank you kindly, pirate. I can always count on you. I'll just be, uh, waiting here, of course. Have you tracked down them fingers for old Zeke? Just pick them up while exploring for me, and I'd be mighty obliged. I got the garlic. Passes the taste test, too. Ooh, talk five feet away, please. It smells like scratch raised the dead in your mouth. I and I have no comment. Easy. They're a bit slippery to pull out, though, even for the son of Zeus. Want to go for more? Ew, no thanks. I'd really rather not hear that again. Back to the witch, then, Captain. the fangs and garlic. 
Excellent work. Now for the spell. Hold on just a second here. What exactly is your plan? Plan, huh? I'm just the one providing the opportunities. It's up to you people to take him down. But I still need an adequate distance to cast it. So how many evil minions does this Dane have? Just like all villains, we must break through his defenses, yes? Not really. Dane is normally more than powerful enough to defend himself. But with this spell, he will finally be vulnerable to serious harm. Oh. Okay, I just thought... Powerful villains, you know? Usually this isn't so easy. Are we really just walking right into his lair? Yep. Right. Well, waiting isn't going to help us. Let's go and take care of this bat problem, Captain. I'll back you up then. It's about time we exterminate that vampiric brute. I suppose we can agree on at least one thing. Unknown intruders detected. Present yourselves and lay down your weapons at once. Oh? Commander Carnifex, if I'm not mistaken. The clockwork put in charge of the war initiative after Rook failed. He is, uh, would have been quite the bounty. You're kidding me. Not even defeating Kane is enough? Are we cursed to keep fighting the Armada? Oh, you are certainly cursed, little fox. To be hunted by a vampire lord in the darkness of the night means certain death. Indeed, I am Lord Dane Von Shane, brother of Shane Von Shane, and the current holder of Carpathis Village. Welcome, uninvited guests. What? What is that thing? Oh, you refer to my metallic friend. He came to the castle not too long ago, seeking a superior to serve. You would have known if you weren't such a hermit. Of course, as I am one of the rightful rulers of Darkmoor, he easily recognized me. I don't understand his origins, but he is quite useful. I assume you've come here for hostility? Impossible. Even inside, the moonlight rages and tears into your feeble minds. Embrace your fate as my puppets. Yar! Enough of the fancy talk, Mr. Triangle Teeth. You're gonna go down real fast, and you don't even notice it. Har-har! Such an unrefined way of speaking. Perhaps I'll be kind enough to teach you how to properly address your master, rat! Although that would be after I revive your unsightly corpse, cut out your putrid tongue and force you to serve me for at least a hundred years. Then it can be regrown. Silence, monster. Noctis creatura immortalitatem amitat. Hiss! You vagrant spellcaster. I will have you feel... No, become the endless beat of agony, your souls will be shattered and permanently broken. The vampire is weakened. Now let us give him his long-awaited justice. Protect me, metal man! Order received. Now on standby.
Feast tonight! The midnight hour is close at hand! Yes, 
No mere mortal can resist. Analyzing target. Err, uh, error. Kane's nemesis identified. How, how dare you show your face after committing regicide? You will be executed. Do not defy me! Tonight!
The ancient blood of our family, how could it fail me? Stop this! The monster is slain. That was undoubtedly the strongest I've ever faced. You have done Darkmoor a great service, it seems, pirate. The Von Shane family is powerful, though. Dane was just a taste of that. You have made terrible enemies today. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm pretty sure we can handle just about anything after what we've been through. It's all rather tiresome, though. Right, I need to ask. Do any of you know where to find Pirate Jenny's grave? She's the captain's mother from Darkmoor. I don't know this, Jenny, but your best bet is the old graveyard if she's from Darkmoor. Plenty of legends are buried there. Lots of ghouls, too. It's not too far from here, actually. How about I meet up with your crew there and we take a look around? I need to investigate it anyway. Har! If you're planning to backstab us there, you'll regret it. I know your type loves swindling pirates out of treasure. I. Treasure? Please, I'm not some lowly grave robber. Like I said, there have been reports of something strange there, so I have a good reason. Fine, just go then. We'll be there soon enough. Once again, thank you all for freeing Carpathus Village from the grip of the Von Shanes. I'll make sure to tell the villagers what has transpired here. Of course, peace has finally returned to this humble village. Now let us find the captain's mother's grave. Greetings, legged one. What, are you surprised I am not here to attack? Why, not all jellyfish are electric vermin! No, instead they cast me out, because I am too afraid to give approaching vessels a little shock. I'm not afraid, it's just, it's just too rude. Would you go and convince them that not all conflict has to end with a sting? Maybe then will I be allowed back in with the school. Thanks! Would you go and convince them that not all conflict has to end with a sting? Maybe then will I be allowed back in with the school. Thanks!
We don't want her back in our school. She isn't normal. She doesn't belong. Tell her to never come back. Zip. Oh, they don't want me. That stings. Fine. I guess I'll just have to find my own way. I will electrify the spiral. Why don't I join you, Captain? You and your crew seem like you can handle a little sting here and there. And maybe then I can put my powers to use where they truly belong. Zip, zap, zang! Buzz! Zippity doo da! Zippity yes, yay! Yes, Captain? Buzz! Zip, zap, zang! Right away! Yes, Captain? Buzz! Zip, zap, zang! I and I sense a hidden presence, O oh Captain, my Captain. Tread carefully. Who's there? Show yourself or face the wrath of Hercules. Ah, uh, hello again. I was hoping to see you here. This is a little awkward. I'm... A ghost. How dreadfully ironic. What in blazes happened here? Yes. Those reports I mentioned are apparently true. A strong spirit from the before time dwells deep in the caves here, I saw it with my own eyes before everything went dark. After that, I woke up in this form. I'm lucky to even escape with my soul, honestly. Maybe you shouldn't have looked for the scary strong spirit alone? Just a thought? Yes, I know. I made a huge mistake and it cost me my life. I don't think my men fared too well either. Looking for Jenny's grave further be unwise, Captain, my Captain. I and I sense an ancient evil lurking beneath us. It be the guard of this cemetery. Then you intend to purge this graveyard of the spirit? I remember where it was, so I can lead you to it. However, considering my future prospects in this form, I would like to also join your crew, if you'll have me, Captain. I would say no, but uh, you are dead, so I suppose it's fine. Beware, Captain, my Captain. I and I feel shadow and bad mojo flood in this place. I fear it be the heart of all evil. Be ready for anything. feel a chill creeping up your spine, Captain. We must be getting close, then. Exercise great caution. I don't like the sound of this, Captain. I'm afraid of evil spirits and magic, especially dark magic. Shh. We're all scared, you get. Just don't talk about it, please. Sir Oliver, fancy meeting you here. I remember all those times you stole our pay for the bounties we turned in. And now, you've led us straight to our deaths. 
I say that's something we should pay you back for. Perhaps if we sacrifice your soul to that abomination, we can finally leave. Oh, come off it. That was completely fair. Well, okay, maybe you're right. Fine, let us duel then, gentlemen. You're a horrible person, you know that? They wouldn't have attacked you if you had treated them well. We should have just let them take you. Yes, I suppose I see the error of my ways now. Too late, but nonetheless. I hope I can make up for my past transgressions. You're lucky the captain is so forgiven, doggy. But it wouldn't be the first time a vile bladder has joined the crew. I know that personally. Less moping, more walking. Across the narrow bridge of spider webs, of course. Are we really crossing that? Oh, don't fuss. Spider webs are very strong. 
Strong enough to even hold up Hercules. Just don't look down. Never fear. My father can send Hermes to catch me if I fall. Forward! Well, what was that? Stay back. I warn ye. Wait, that's just a duck? Not just any duck. That's English Bill. I thought we got rid of him on Boot Hill. <laughs> oh no, I can sense it coming. St. Bernard, have mercy on our souls. Foolish mortals. English Bill's soul is long dead, but his body is bound to my service for eternity. It was part of our deal, after all. The body is not just constricted to one usage either. Here, meet our new meals, my pretties. You're joking, right? Would now be a good time to ask about those silver bullets again? We would need a silver bullet for every grain of sand in a desert. Impossible. What now, Dragonfly? Hmm. I sense that child has great potential. Come closer, little one. If you make a deal with me, I will spare your life. Oh, no, you don't. The captain is not making another deal. Losing his childhood memories was enough. Fools, you have sealed your fate. Let the shadows smother your souls. Allow your hot blood to spill and enrich my essence. Okay, we can do this. Beware, Spider. You face the bringer of justice, El Toro. Have at you. the children of Tenebrae. Them ducks will only fall once we break the spirit. Squash that spider or we're doomed. Thank you. 
the children of Tenebrae.
The children of Tenebrae. Another foul beast of the ancient past, slain by the mighty Hercules. Wait, what is this? Ooh, white stuff on my claws. What? Never fought a spider before? That's the silk it produces. An incredible substance with very unique properties, you see, making it very versatile. So it's just sticky strings? Yes, yes it is. These place, it now be free of the ancient evil, the danger be gone, and now we may press on. Jenny. Let's go, Captain.
I sense strong spirits in the inner sanctum of this place. Take heed. Ah! Why can't a poor old soul get any rest around here? This is your fault. Attack!
I understand. Haven't slept since the night before I died. It would be nice to get some rest, but not yet. Oh, Captain, my Captain, your mother. Her grave be ahead of us. Follow your heart, and you will find it. Here it is, Jenny's grave. I... I don't know how to feel. How can I face her after failing to avenge her? She only spoke to you through the crystals, about El Dorado. And I couldn't even get her son to El Dorado. My oath is worthless. That's probably why your parents told you not to go there. It's because of me. Oh, stop your blabbering. We've all made mistakes. But we're here now. The past is behind us. Regardless of what she might say, just talk to her. If I was still alive, my stomach would be aching right about now. All right, it's finally time. Go ahead, then. Hmm. I and I sense no body here. No matter. This be a strong enough focal point to summon her spirit like before, Captain. Pirate Jenny, hear me. Rise from the grave, spirit. Your son, he be here to meet you. Rise. Jenny, I don't know what to say. Meow, meow, Jenny. It's been far too long. You didn't exactly give us much time to speak in the machine. My son, my beautiful baby boy. Oh, and you've brought my old crewmates. Hello there, Mike. Catbeard. We have much to discuss. You really have grown. I didn't get a good glimpse through the crystals, but I can see it now. I'm glad you're doing well. Although I can't help but feel a little sad at having missed your upbringing. It's an enormous failure for me and your father. I'm sorry. Where is that man? I was hoping to see him again, you know. My husband? Sadly, he couldn't be here since he gave me all of his remaining strength to appear. It was the only way. Now, I heard a certain someone pitying himself before I came. Mike? Yes, Jenny? Um, Captain? Just Jenny. Your captain is my son. About the mutiny, you did all you could to save me. Really, sacrificing yourself for me, that was incredibly brave. Even so, you're just one man, Mike. Your oaths still hold true. I'd appreciate it if you avenged me, but it's not a priority. You have plenty of time. But when we defeated Kane, you told the captain to let go of El Dorado. I made an oath to help him get there. That's useless now, isn't it? Oh, right. Kane, I'm afraid he has tricked all of you. I never said a word, although I could sense that my presence was being used against my will. I understand now what that was about. Yes, I still wish for you to help my son reach that lost city. I have never disregarded your promise. So I'm still worthy after all. Thank you, Jenny. I'd, I'd be crying tears of joy right now if I was still alive. I'm glad to see you happy, old friend. You deserve it, trust me. Yard! Looks like treasure is back on the menu. El Dorado, here we come. Shush, they're having a moment. Oh, I do love a good reunion. There is so much I... Catbeard, I would say I'm glad to see you as well, but the passing spirits haven't exactly given me good impressions. What did you do? Meow. I, uh, I may have accidentally, for the sake of higher purposes, started a fight. A big fight between Marleybone and Valencia. A war. You started a war, and for what? Some pickled herring? We might be pirates, Catbeard, but there is a line you should never cross. Luckily for you, my son has made up for your rash actions. However, that loss of life will be on your shoulders forever. Understand? Yes, I... I understand. To be fair, though, meow. Um, your son did voluntarily help me start that war. Please don't get mad. I am his mother. But you are right. My son does bear part of the blame. 
I understand why he helped, though. Not only that, he won the war for them. Still, I have to say, please consider the possible consequences of your actions in the future, my son. They can be very serious, as you have learned. You did defeat the Armada, though, and that is certainly an outstanding feat. To think my son did such a thing? It makes me proud. Another thing I should settle. Gaspacho is at peace. He knows what you did and has moved on to the other side. All is well. Sorry to interrupt, but you said Cain tricked us with those crystals? I think we should be a lot more concerned. What if this was all his plan? You may be right, but I don't think Cain would throw away all of his power just to fool a child. Even if that child is one of the best pirates in the spiral. Perhaps Cain still has other surprises up his sleeve, yes. Ultimately, it's useless to worry about such things. Leave it be. That makes sense. There is something I don't understand, though. Why do you still want the captain to go to El Dorado? Having my son go to El Dorado was never about the Armada. There are still mysteries in that shining city. Mysteries that must be solved. You want us to go there just to play detective? No, this mystery could destroy civilization as we know it if it remains a mystery. The Armada was certainly dangerous, but they were simply a reflection of the past, a repeat of history. Marco knew this secret. Why do you think he destroyed his map? He thought we did not understand, but I realized it over time. What he was hiding. El Dorado is not just a city of gold. It is a tomb for the ancient builders who made such advanced technology, betrayed by their greatest creations. I won't pretend to know everything. Gaspaccio and Marco understood the details much better. But the Sentinels are a credible threat, and intelligent, as Cain showed with his mind. If we don't investigate, they could break out someday and wreak havoc on the spiral. Marco said the Celestian magic that unmoored the Stormgate from the fabric of the spiral would stop them, but that is pure naivety. If we made it in and out, the Sentinels can too. They are stuck guarding the city, but who says that will last forever? Cain shows that potential. That is why you must find the key to El Dorado and sail to that lost city of gold to uncover the terrible tragedy that happened there long ago. The Celestians unmoored the Stormgate to El Dorado. That is an incredibly fascinating discovery. Ah, I wonder what impact that had on the original location. And, oh, sorry, ruminations later. The key to El Dorado. Do you mean the Scroll of Secrets? We already talked to Kao Tzu. He said he would translate the map for us. That is indeed part of the key. You must also get the rest of the map, obviously. As for the windstone... Well, which way did you come here? We were going to go through Avernus, but it was completely blocked off. We had to go through Westminster instead. Congratulations! That means you have the black windstone. I remember Marco using it on the ship during the expedition, you see. Wait just a second. Mr. Kitty here went there too, didn't he? Yar, you never said a word, you fishy furball. Meow, calm down, I just didn't think to mention it. We likely wouldn't need to worry about the windstone for quite a while, so why bother? For once, Catbeard is right. Anyway, you need the last four map pieces to complete the key. That would include Kane's two pieces. All right, I guess it's an easy trip back to Valencia. Oh, wait. Oh, no. That's right, they have already been confiscated, stolen, or Kane took some emergency measures to keep it out of your hands. You've been outplayed. Great! I just can't wait to go back. Not... Let's ignore those for now, Captain, please. Instead, we could go for Erica's or... Mine. That's right. You're already one step closer to being done. I remember where I hid it and can easily tell you. Anything for my son, of course. Why do I feel like we're talking to Avery right now? Good senses. We knew each other for a time, but that's his story to tell. Yes, there is a catch. I need to exercise my right as the mother of your captain. Son, why do you think your father gave me his strength? We are not going to be literal deadbeat parents. We need to know if you've any hope of surviving in El Dorado. The only way I can be sure is to challenge you myself. With some help, of course. Let's see how you fare against the crew who actually made it there. Break free of your shackles in El Dorado and aid me, old crewmates. The parent faces her progeny, and the progeny faces their parent. It is time to show everything you have learned since we first met, Dragonfly. Can you face my stare?
I sense in you a weakness. Curious, a vulnerability.
Very good. If you were able to overcome us, then maybe you could have a chance. I... No, we are satisfied, my son. You are ready. You can find my map piece in the hollow tree at Fogbrook. That place was always nice and quiet, so it should still be safe there. Huh. You know, I thought it'd be hidden in this grave considering what Scratch said. I mean, if your body isn't here, then what is here? Ah, uh, no. Any rascal with a brain would wonder if my map piece is buried with me, and I have no protection unlike Marco. There's nothing here. Protection? For sure. Not like it did old Foyo any good. It can keep me smarter than that. You know, Ratbeard, I heard about you from a rat named Lasco. He sounds like he'd haunt you again if you returned to your old ways. You wouldn't want that, would you? No, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Won't happen again, ma'am. Well, my son, this is goodbye. It's hard, but... I've done everything within my power. I think I can leave it at this. We have watched over you, even in the times you feel the most alone. And we will continue to do so. I hope it gives you comfort to know that. Farewell, my son. Mike, Catbeard, everyone here. Thank you all for protecting him. So that's it. I feel dead, like usual. But I can feel a little peace, finally. Knowing that your mother approves of us, Captain. She's a fine parent. I think I can understand how she feels to an extent. I can feel a new wind blowing. Let us ride it into the unknown. Together. Dragonfly. Hold right there, pirate. You've done well, but I fear the story can't go farther. Yet. The next exciting chapter will be available soon. Check back later for more.
Halt! By order of the Horned Crown, this Stormgate is off-limits. Turn back. <laughs>